What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back with Season 3, Episode 4 of Once Upon a Time. Let's get into it, shall we? Feels like just yesterday I welcomed you to Neverland the first time, Bellfire. Bellfire. Gotta say, hoped I'd never see you again. Maybe Pan shouldn't have taken my son. Maybe you should have left well enough alone. I'm gonna get him back. You really believe that? You were a lost boy. You know Peter Pan's not to be trifled with. You know how long he's been searching for the heart of the truest believer? Do you really believe he'll just give him up? Maybe, if I ask nicely. You may have grown up, Bellfire. It would appear you have grown up stupid. I have grown up. He says I don't know if I'm Bellfire. Stupid or not, but I do know I know how to tie over Bellfire. Not a boy anymore, Felix. I sure as hell ain't lost. Yeah, Felix. That's a man. That's a man, Felix. Hey, a present. Something to sharpen your coal with. Where did you get it? Oh, from a man who no longer needed it. You mean taken from a man who couldn't pay you? Papa, I told you, I don't want any more gifts from the people you terrorize. Then what do you want? Tell me, son. What would make you happy? Leaving this place. I'm tired of staying in this hovel all the time. That's easy to fix. How about a castle? Huh? I could build you a palace. Do That's it. not what I mean. I want to go out, have friends. Why can't you just trust me to do that? I do trust you, Betty. It's others that I can't. Seems... You see, I have many enemies beyond that door. And once you leave, any one of them could hurt you. You sure that's the only reason? What you're he really got... worried about is oh. if I leave, I might never come back. That's you the same not. one before, I'm right? I'm worried about your safety. This is the best place for you. I don't know what I'd do if I ever lost you. He was a lot smaller when he went away. You've always felt more comfortable behind a mask. You were the only one who could ever see past that. Past she the mask. Is so of the monster. damn pretty. Then why put it back on now? I need the monster now. It's the only way I can save him. And that's when I've decided I'm going to save Henry. Prophecy states that Henry will be your undoing. To save him will ensure your own death. You don't think I can die? I think your intentions are good. But a lifetime of craven self interest is a nasty habit. You get ready to go You've play never football. Been a break. Things are different now. How? What's different? Because I have nothing to live for. What about me? You're not real. Just a vision. But I'm, I'm back in Storybrooke waiting for you. You shouldn't be. When I said goodbye to you, Bob, we both know it was for good. Well, maybe I think you'll come back. Even if I did, eventually you'd leave me. You can see me for what I really am. You think you see a good man, but in time, you'd see the monster. My son is dead. The only way I can redeem myself is by saving his son giving my life. This is where they're keeping Henry, according to uh, Tinkerbell. Yeah, I know, still weird to say. Tink is fine. Not sure that's any better. She says that there are sentries positioned across Tink. the front, which is why we're gonna come in through the back here. She's gonna talk her way in, and then we are going to sneak on in. Still have to deal with any lost boys. I think we can handle a few children with pointy sticks. It's Ooh. not the sticks you need to worry about. It's the poison they're dipped in. Dream shade hook warned us. Good, because one nick Hook and you'll spend the last Poison sticks equal in me. death. When can we put this rescue mission into action? Just as soon as you tell me the exit plan. You do have an escape plan. Sure don't. It was more of a last minute trip. If you don't have a way off this island, then none of this matters. No I'm one comes fly. and goes from this place unless he allows it. This is a waste of time. When it comes to family, we always find a way. You don't get it. Let me show you something. You know what this is? I got it from the people who brought your son here. Where are they? Why'd they give you that? I got it off the girl's body. Spent half the night cleaning the blood off it. She did, thank guy, God. Didn't like well, her. Well, there wasn't enough left of him to find anything useful. This is what Pan <laughs> does to people he employs. What do you think he's going to do to you? Regina's down. I'm not down. sticking She's my neck happy. on Pan's without a way off this island. Do you figure that out? You know where I live. Where the hell is she going? I'll get her. She's right. There's one thing I've learned. You never break in somewhere unless you know the way out. Uh, Neil taught me that. What about you, Hook? You got off this island before. Yes, aboard my ship. Which would require some form of magic to create a portal, which... I got from Pan. So no one's ever left the island without Pan's permission? One man, a partner in crime, Neil. How? Maybe we can find out. Better put that fire out. Aren't you supposed to put a fire out before you leave it? That's how forest fires happen. Stop, by order of Pan. <laughs> he said kick rocks. I don't take orders. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, I didn't think they'd be reunited that soon. You're not real. You're not dead. Of course I'm real. What the hell's going on? You're in vision, just like Bob. Oh shit. No, no, hey, it's me. I was shot, okay? 
but I survived. See? I'm alive. My son is dead! Now I am here! My weakness. But you are here to question my resolve. I will sacrifice my life for him, and nothing will stand in my way! Where's Papa? I was thinking only a king should live in a castle. So why don't you try this on facade? I fucking love Rumpy. Babe. All right, now listen. We'll start organizing search parties right away. Think you can hide him from me? Where's my son? He's not here, Dark One. Don't lie to me! Magic has led me to this rat hole of a town. That green this screen looking real here. green screeny. In Hamlet. I know you're hiding him from me. No, we're not. Many of our children went missing last night, lured from their beds by some unholy music pipe. What kind of music? Only the children could hear it. Some of them tried telling their parents, but no one believed them. They were sent back to bed, and this morning, they were gone. And who was playing it? No <laughs> one saw his face leading the children from their homes and into the forest. Don't you see? It, it has to be the same man that has taken your side. Then whoever this Pied Piper is, he's about to play his last note. Ooh, that was a that skin. Let's just say that the debt Robin Hood owes you has been paid. You were back in Arla? The only thing that matters now is that I help Emma save Henry. I left her and the rest of them aboard Hook ship. As noble as their intentions may be, they don't have the stomach to do what needs to be done. Like what you did to these boys? They're not, uh... No, they're just sleeping. For now. Let's leave it that way, okay? You don't have the stomach either. I'll do what needs to be done. No killing lost boys, we don't have to do that. We shall see. Oh, so I take it you have a plan? That the whole sacrifice your life thing was just you being dramatic. Pan is too powerful. You can only beat him if you're willing to die, which I am. What if I told you there was another way? So what exactly is your plan? You know how if you hold a shell up to your ear, you can hear the ocean? Certain shells. That's a cool shell. The ocean can hear you. Why would we need the ocean to hear us? What have you done? Spear. Holy fuck! A squid. The biggest. That's right. I believe you know how to extract ink from one of these bad boys. Fucking squid ink. So this is your plan. It can immobilize the most magical pasta? creatures. At least for a little while. Even Pan. I have some experience with this. Can you get it out? Indeed. But how do you plan on getting close enough to use it? I need to get close. All I need is one clean shot to get Henry back. You could kill him with squid me. ink? I've never heard of that. That's a bear on there. I see a bear face. What is this supposed to be? Neil swung out of Neverland on a vine? Well, if someone would be kind enough to lend me a hand. What do you say, Savior? I'll do it. You don't look so hot, mate. Yeah, he does. Damn jungle. And I'm plenty hot. Ladies first. He said, and I'm plenty hot. We know. How much longer do you think you can keep up the charade? Why do you care? Why don't you go to telling them when there is nothing I can do to stop the boys and when there is no hope? If there's one thing I've gleaned from you hero types is that there's always hope. Is there something you're not telling me? Mate? Ah. Well, that's hope and reality are most often worlds apart. I told you the truth. You're never making it off this island alive. Ah. And this is between us. The only thing they need to worry about saving is Henry. Babe. Him too. Hook. Her too. What is this place? What are we doing here? <sighs> Neil, this is where he lived. Hi. Balefire spent some time in Evelyn as a boy. This was his home. You think he may have left a clue as to how he escaped from here? Well, let's hope so. Or we'll be lost just like he was. But he ain't lost right now. He with his daddy. Zach. Is that him? No. That's my son, Piper. Is that why they're calling me? We both know who I really am. Ah. Been a long time, laddie. Glad you can make the show. He just looks evil. You know, some people just look evil. He looks evil. Surprised to see me, Rumpel. Can't to blame me. I'm a little surprised myself. Because all grown up and become the dark one. Good for you. What are you doing here? It's lonely in Neverland. The only friends I have are the children who visit in their dreams. They can't stay. The boys I take back with me will. You're here for my Reaper. son. I am. It's gonna take a lot more than a magic pipe to take my son. That only certain boys can hear it. Boys who feel unloved. Boys who feel lost. I guess that's why you can hear it, Rumpel. Isn't it? 
don't pretend to know me. Oh, I think I do. Beneath all that power, you're nothing more than an unloved, lonely, lost boy. Hey, I like the sound of that. That's what I'll call my new group of friends, the Lost Boys. That's a nice ring, don't you think? You can call them whatever you like. Bellfire will not be part of it. What are you willing to do to get him back? I'm gonna make you regret ever asking that question. Oh, I understand you're upset. Most parents' worst fear is that their child will be taken away from them. But that's not yours, is it, Rumpel? You're not afraid Bellfire will be taken from you. You're afraid he'll leave. After all, being abandoned is what you're good at, isn't it? Everyone you've ever known has left, haven't they? Like Bay's mother, Mila, not to mention your own father. Why should Bellfire be any different? You're wrong. Well, let's find out, shall we? You ask Bellfire if he wants to come to Neverland with me or stay here with you. If he wants to stay, I'll leave and never return. Deal? I don't have to make any deals with you. But why wouldn't you? If you're so sure he'll stay. But didn't he send him away previously? He came back then? I'm confused on the yeah, timeline a little bit, I think. Nothing to celebrate. Nothing to celebrate. Henry, this whole party is to celebrate you. Me. Because you've come to save magic, of course. And I, for one, can't think of a reason more deserving of celebration than that. Just look at them. I'm not like them. Or you. Sure you are. You're still a boy. Maybe a song will get you on your feet. Can't hear it. Sorry, I, I don't hear anything. Oh shit, because he is loved, bro! You see, this pipe's enchanted, Henry. It can only be heard by certain children. Like who? You'll find out soon enough. He's I promise. loved. You what? can't have him. What happened? Bellfire. I'm afraid he got away. But why didn't you get him back? I followed his trail and found two of our sentries knocked out by a sleeping spell. The dark one. So father and son have been reunited. I'll be coming for the boy. We should move him somewhere safe. Where's your sense of adventure? We can't end the party when the real fun is about to begin. Evil ass, you evil ass Martha. Anything important? I can't tell yet. I didn't know he liked drawing. Got it from his mother. I'm hoping Neil left something useful in the details of one of these. Maybe a map? Some kind of clue. Hey, me What's that? that? What about you? Any luck? A potted bean that looks like a clue on the wall. On the rug, if that's what you mean. I can leave no rug at all. There are other drawings in the far wall, but as far as I can tell, that's all they are. I would just wait to pass the time and keep occupied. You knew him pretty well, didn't you? We spent some time together. You all right, this one? I'm fine. Looks like you're right. They're just a bunch of pictures. What's all this? Cuff some holes. I think that thing over her shoulder on here. the wall, that's no, no, I'd that's ready to cut this coconut I can make. It's filled with holes. Hold on. Hook. Snuff out that torch. Am I supposed to be impressed that he made a nightlight? <laughs> Shut up, Regina. Look up. <laughs> Sassy ass. <laughs> Stars. It's a map. To where? Home. When you wish upon a star. Ah! Oh, y'all going to sleep. Shit. We have a guest. No doubt someone who knows how much I like guessing games. Who could it be? I guess. The dark one. He lo he's a badass. He looks Come like a badass. Ready to sacrifice his life for his family. Speaking of family, you can come out now, Belfire. Name's Neil now. New name, but the same old tricks. It's heartwarming to see father and son working together. Shut up. You're just jealous you don't have a dad. This is a real family reunion. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Clever. But we've been through this before, Belfire. If you remembered nothing. I remember plenty. That's why I didn't coat the tip. Oh, snap. Oh, wow about that. I'm impressed. Tucks the suck. But are you sure you're really saving him, Bay? Could be worse than leaving him here with you. Why don't you ask your father? Sometimes the people we should fear the most are the ones closest to us. Well, what's he talking about? Don't listen to him. You mean you haven't told him? Told me what? About the prophecy, of course. What do you mean? The prophecy that says you've been tricked. Your father isn't here to rescue your son. He's here to murder him. Oh, he ain't. He ain't gonna. What the hell was he talking about? He ain't gonna. He said you were gonna murder Henry. He plays games, mind games. The important thing is we got the boy and we got away. Where are we? The other side of the island. We're safe here for the time being. Hey, Henry, it's me. Hey, it's your dad. No, he, he can't hear you. Then wake him up. He'll wake naturally in a few hours. He'll be fine. All right, then you can explain to me what the hell Pan meant. Why would he say that you'd kill Henry? I don't know, to create a wedge between you. No. It's not a denial. Ever. No, this has to do with what happened when I found you. You thought I was a hallucination. You said that you had to do the right thing and save Henry. Well, stop dodging and tell me what's going on! There was a seer, and she told me of a prophecy. That a boy would help reunite me with you. And that boy would be my undoing. Henry. I didn't know he was going to be my own grandson. Till I found you in New York and discovered you were his father. You 
you're planning on getting rid of him, whoever he was, weren't you? To try and cheat fate? You cold-blooded son of a bitch. Who? You were gonna kill him. Yes. Get back. Stay away from him. That was then. I didn't come here to Neverland to hurt Henry. I came here to save him. I'm supposed to believe you? Self-preservation has been a nasty habit I've had my whole life, but I came here to break it and to save your son, even if that meant sacrificing my own life. You have to trust me. I don't know, okay. man. I don't know. You don't even recognize him, do you, Rumpel? Well, he might be wearing a mask, but that's not the reason. Look at him, playing with other boys, out in the world. He's happy, Rumpel. That's why you don't recognize him. You're fine. Are you all right? I'm fine. Why are you here? I know you think I don't care about you some, but I do. And I'm here to prove it. How? Go ahead, Rumpel. Papa, what are you doing? I'm protecting you. You're going to regret not taking my deal, Rumpel. Don't touch me. You're safe. Safe? I was never in danger. The Piper was my friend. He may have wanted you to think that. He would have hurt you. Why? Who is he? Another person that you abused with your power? Who? His name is Peter Pan. I've known him since I was a boy. Growing up, we were incredibly close. So you're saying he's immortal too? He wasn't always. He went to a place called Neverland. He betrayed me, babe. He can't be trusted. What happened? All that matters is that he fooled me for a long time before I finally seen his true nature. It is darker than you should ever be exposed to. He can't be any worse than you. I had to protect you, babe. I didn't have a choice. Stop lying, because I know that you did. I know about the deal Pat offered you. He said all you had to do was ask me if I wanted to come home. He told you. He said that way. I know if you really trust him, if you really cared. I would have chosen to come home. I would have chosen you. If only you asked. Maybe we could have found a way to be a family again. We can't be. Bay. Bay. Tell me what I have to do to gain your trust, and I will. Give me the Dark One dagger. Oh. I know you. I know you wouldn't come all the way to Neverland without it. It's the only thing that can control you. It's the only thing that can stop you. You wouldn't take any chances with it. I don't have it. Why are you lying? I'm not lying to you, babe. I hid it so Pan couldn't get it, so he couldn't stop me. So unhide it. My shadow took it. Shadow. Man, you got an answer for everything, don't you? I'm telling <laughs> you the truth, I swear. I mean, you know, maybe you did hide it. Maybe you do want to do the right thing. But that's today. What about tomorrow? I've changed. Have you? Yes. The prophecy still stands. You save him, he's still your undoing. I'm still willing to die for him. What happens if we get back and you're reunited with Belle and you realize that the only thing standing between you and your happy ending is my son and suddenly undoing doesn't sound so great. You're my happy ending. This is because it's my redemption. I can be strong, son, if you have faith in me. Uh, you know, I was living out sleeping in a cave. I used to dream of you coming to rescue me, but then I'd wake up and remember how you left me behind. You left your own son behind. How can I think that things would ever be any different? Neil, what are you doing? I'm gonna find Emma and the others and get the hell off this island. And I'm gonna get my family back home. Without my power to protect you, Pan will capture you both. I'm oh, sorry, I got no choice. We're safer without you. Goodbye, Papa. I feel bad for him. Don't cry. I think he genuinely wants change. How could you be so sure it's a man? He's so complex. There was a short time in Neverland when Balefire was aboard my ship. I taught him to navigate using the stars. You're looking at the fruit of my labors. Then you can read it. Sadly, no. I thought you just said you taught him how. I also taught Neil something else, the key to being a pirate, secrecy. Best captains can seal their maps in code. He was an apt pupil. So you're saying the only person who can read this map is Neil? Which means the only person who can read it is dead. No, 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 no. Not true. Emma, wait! Now is not the time. I can't even imagine the sadness you must be feeling. I'm not sad. I'm pissed. Yes, Neil just died. But I lost him years ago. All that time thinking that he didn't love me, only to find out that he did, and it was too late. I can't even tell him how angry that makes me. Yeah, you, you, you go, Papa. Or how when he left. Where he at? Or how terrified I was when he came back. Come around the corner. I knew the moment I saw him. I never, I never stopped loving him. She'll be okay. Really? We have done everything we can. No, that's the problem. I have no idea how to comfort my own daughter. It is the first thing a mother learns that I don't know how. I feel the same way, but she is so upset. We have how to give... How could we even plead? If you died, I would not be able to move on. You must. And I, and I'm just saying, every day we're here, something bad could happen. It did to me. I want you to move on. Continue to be happy. Nothing is going to happen to you. <sighs> not while I'm here. Little do you know, if he died... Don't... Don't kill him. Not this early. I'm only on season three. I'm just starting to crush. 
That's just the story of my life. I start to crush and then you die. Fuck! Emma. You were so close to finding me. Aw, oh, fuck. You disappoint me. I thought I taught you better. Never break in somewhere unless you know the way out. I'll remember that for next time. Well, there isn't going to be a next time. But don't blame yourself. Your father could have protected you out here, sure. But then who would have protected Henry from him? Talk about a rock and a hard place. I will get my son back no matter what it takes. You're not getting it. That's not the problem. You got him, I got him back. It's the game. The real problem for you is that there is no escaping Neverland. No one gets off this island without my permission. I'm done before. Did you? Look where you are now. It's like you never left. He's saying you let me go. I'm saying everyone's where I want them. <laughs> Something to chew on. You know where to take him. No! I'm not... oh, don't worry. It won't be for very long. Until I reset the board. See, the game is about to change. Reset the board? Oh, hell. I'm so sorry, Rumpel. Neil should have trusted you. How could he? After everything I've done. Um, he may not know what was in your heart, but I do. You would have protected Henry. You would have even given your own life to show Neil that you've changed. Are you Are sure? You asking me whether you truly believe that? I know it with all my heart. What I don't know is why you look so upset now. I mean, Rumpel, he's alive. Balefire, you have something to live for. But the prophecy remains. Henry's still my undoing. That's why you're upset. You were so determined to die for the boy, but now having something to live for has brought back that nasty habit of self-preservation. Rumpel, habits can be broken, can't they? Yes. Go away, Bal. I don't want to talk right now. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Rumpy? What happened? You fell asleep. I did? It was just a little catnap. The night's still young. Wait, I, I remember something. My dad, when I was asleep, I, I could have sworn I heard him calling for me. It must have been a dream. How can you be sure? Fake ass. Because my dad's dead. I'm sorry, Henry. It makes sense for us to dream about the things we've lost and the things we hope for. Like your father being alive or your mother coming to find you. But eventually, you'll find new things to dream about. And when you do, it'll start to come true. How do you know? Because that's what I did. And now you're here. Neverland used to be a place where new dreams were born. You can bring that magic back. Don't listen to him, Henry. We can be your family. No, you have a family that loves you. I'd like to play a song. A song for our guest of honor. You have a family Henry. that loves you. Damn it. No. No. You can hear the music now, can't you, Henry? Yeah. Damn it. Damn you, Pan, your evil ass. Pan is so damn evil, y'all. I am loving it. Henry's a lost boy, but he's not because his family really does love him. Pan is just manipulative and deceitful. Jerk. I am loving the direction of season three. I can't wait to see how the rest of it unfolds. I don't even want to guess or assume or think about what's going to happen. I just want to enjoy the ride and quite a ride it has been so far. Let me know what y'all thought about this one and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.